Welcome to today's skills video with me, Odrin, Dex, and today we're going to learn how to pass. We're looking to spin pass. Um, you want to keep your chest as proud as possible and keep this back, el uh, back elbow nice and high um, so that when you're coming through the ball, you stay over the ball and you follow through to the target. So just think about coming from your hip through to the target and staying high over the ball instead of dipping down and finishing with your hands down. We use a spin pass on the pitch when we're looking to pass over like seven to 10 meters. Just gives it that extra distance and doesn't let the wind affect the half of the ball. We don't spin pass over short distances just because when you catch the ball, the time to adjust your hands to then pass it. And also I don't say Tommy stood right next to me, I don't want to fire at him. Right, normally when you're doing a spin pass, you're looking to put some pace on the ball. It's important to be able to spin pass off both hands in a game. Just because when you're playing, you need to be able to attack both the left and right side of the pitch. Um, so just to exploit the space on either side, it's, it's pretty key for your team to be able to pass off both. The way I learned how to spin pass off both hands is literally just throwing the ball up to myself in my room, just over and over, just making sure I can spin it both sides, and then that's pretty transferable to when you're on a pitch. It's literally just tilted and doing it both ways. You always use a pop pass when a few situations. If it's a, if it's a wet day um, and you've got a short distance to pass the ball and you just want to get it there quickly, and you haven't got time to get out your hands, you want to just move the ball out your hands, catch it early and just transfer it across your body but you don't need to worry about your grip, you just catch it and give it straight away. Um, but again, it's for a short distance and you're not looking to push it quite as far because it's not as accurate. If you're using a push pass, you're probably you're looking to like get the ball as quickly as you can to the space that's potentially quite close to you. So you're not sort of worried about using the spin pass to beat people over a long distance, you just want to get the ball as quick as you can. So you want the ball in your hands for as little time as possible and I think it's just easier to just transfer the ball on a push pass than it is to spin it over a short distance. Thanks for watching our skill video, uh, hope a few of our tips help you out in the future.